Hey guys, Technivers here. This is my ANET ET4, and you know for being a budget printer, it's got some additional bells and whistles that most of these other cheap end printers don't really have. So today we're gonna take a look at one of the features that comes built in stock to this bad boy, and that feature is... And the first thing we wanna do is home our bed, and I've already done that. So the next step is going to be leveling by hand, because you want to get somewhat close before you install the automatic bed leveler and use that process. So we're going to hit stop, excuse me, back, and then prepare. Then up here in the corner, you'll see it says level. Uh, click on level, and then you're going to hit manual. And it should reset to its home position. And then lower to the build plate. Once it does that, we are gonna click on these four corners in order to get it to move to one of them so we can check it for level. Now we are going to slip the paper under this just a standard sheet of paper here. And we are going to select one of these corners. You can go in order if you want. You don't necessarily have to. Make sure that the paper is underneath. And we are going to hand level, which means ensuring that it can slip both ways accurately without too much pressure. But you want to feel the nozzle dragging on it slightly. Just a standard paper leveling procedure. That one seems pretty good. We're going to, in fact, go across over here to the opposite corner. We'll do it again. This one's a little loose, so I'm going to loosen this spring up and let it make contact and then back it off a little bit. There we have that. So let's go ahead and do the other reverse corner. Okay, that's pretty good. And the final corner right here. And this one's a little loose too. So it looks like our front was a little loose, but that's okay. We're gonna tighten it up now. And that's about right. So now that we have that process done, we can go ahead and get our sensor out and we can install it. In order to do that, we're gonna have to hit home again go back to settings and hit home you don't have to quite home it you do need to raise the head up high enough that you can get there so I'm gonna let it home because it's gonna want to do that anyway for the auto bed leveling process so go ahead and put your sensor on right there And there it is, homed all the way. So our next step is to go back into the leveling. And hit auto. It's gonna ask you if your nozzle temperature is under 50 before installing the center. Sensor, excuse me. Uh, I hit yes there and it'll go down and it'll test 25 different points on the bed. Let's get a better camera angle of the bed. There you go. We will see the print head come down and it will test several different places. Uh, and then I will show you what this looks like when it's done. Basically in there, there's just another limit switch. Just uh, got a tinier tolerance. It's going to set off the sensor when it makes contact. That way the print head knows it's exactly the right distance above the bed and it'll use these calculations to make minute differences to the first layer height of the G-code in order to uh, accommodate for any imbalances or unevenness or things like that. Since no surface is perfectly flat, this is the best way to level a bed because when they say level your bed, you're not really putting a level on it and making sure that it is level. You're making sure 
that it is level compared to the head of the printer as it travels across the X gantry. So um, there you go, the first row of five going down. As you can see, it taps the plate and then it backs up and then it slowly creeps back up to the plate. That way it can get a little bit finer measurement that second time to get the exact number it needs. And we're going to let this process finish up. I'll show you what the screen says when it's all done, but that's basically it. After this, we're going to be ready to print on a nice level bed without too many, uh, too much struggle. Uh, we did initially level it with that paper technique the first time, but once you're pretty much in level, you won't need to do that as often as with other printers because you can just use the automatic bed level and walk away and then come back and turn your print on, which is kind of nice. Um, I still tend to check my springs every two or three prints to make sure that I am within the amount that the automatic bed level can compensate for. Um, and that's also the reason that you adjust it by hand the first time to make sure that you're not trying to get your printer to print in a crazy offset on one side and uh, a crazy offset in the other direction on the other side. Um, and that's basically it. And as you can see here, it says complete leveling and we are ready to remove our sensor and start a print. And that's basically the gist of it. It's a very simple piece of equipment that works very, very well and will save you frustration, monitoring time, and uh, probably a more than a couple failed prints over your career of 3D printing. So, um, so far, so great. This machine's been running really well. I am enjoying it. Um, it is an A-net, take that as you will, but uh, it is also super duper quiet, and we will talk about that in another one of the future videos. Don't forget to hit like down below, smash that subscribe button, return, return, return to the channel as often as possible. I post videos all the time, so if by chance you don't have notifications turned on, you're going to want to stop by and check it out, or at least make sure you're keeping an eye on your subscription feed to see what's coming next because we have a lot of stuff coming out uh, from IC3D, Kodak, 3DX Tech. I got a bunch more uh, printer reviews to do and things like that. So uh, if you're liking what you see, stick around. Don't forget, subscribe. Technivorous out. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.